Okay. Here's our little friend with the messed up leg. You can see he's holding it up. Um, but you can see it's not uh, affecting him at all. Uh, and he looks pretty good. He's been on pasture. I think his leg's been broken probably for about a week now. Uh, probably three-ish, four days. Three, four days. Yeah. too hot. What are you doing? Taking this flap disc off. Put a cutting wheel on. So if anyone didn't know, you use that silver tool to take it off. So now we open this. What we're going to do is take this PVC, about 16 inches of it, and put it on our goat's leg. It has managed to break it. Tragic. Do not cut towards yourself, the kids. You go to the hospital. Another thing is that's very important is to throw things away as you go in your designated trash bins or they'll end up everywhere else. To tighten, we take that other, we go to the opposite direction for tightening. And there we have it. Yeah. That's right. I know it was right. I told you how to do it. Did you? Where's your 16 inches at? Probably right around here. See? Told you. Right there. Right where I said. Where that speck of dirt is. Okay. Right there, see? Ta da! Another important thing is uh, glasses, folks, or you will go to the hospital. Just ask Nick. Okay, I thought we were ready. Apparently, we were not. The last time I made one of these, I did not use a straight edge, but since Nick is here, we have to use a straight edge. There's a dead cricket on it. Now it's on Nick. Oh my God. Don't touch me with that. Look at that, fancy. See that folks? Straight as straight can be. It's almost perfect. Okay. folks now we need some tape donde esta duct tape we just ordered some i know but there's some right here that's not gonna be enough that should be plenty we don't have to overly wrap it yes so last time i did this i used to sawzall it was not nearly as easy as the disc so um, it's just a two inch piece of pvc we get rid of these edges that way don't rub him. Cut into the billy goat. This is just to help stabilize it for a little while. 
Then we'll take it off here in a couple weeks. Just to keep him from bending his leg. And we'll tape it on. Let's go talk about this Billy Goat. Okay. Here's our little friend with the messed up leg. You can see he's holding it up. Um, so this Billy Goat is a kid from last year. He's one of uh, the ones that we held back to be a future herd sire. Uh, so we definitely want to save him. Uh, hopefully we can get a good couple of cycles out of him. As you can see, he's pretty impressive. His horn growth, everything about him, his legs, his hoofs, everything is really nice. It just looks like uh, as these billy goats are getting into the rut, he might have gotten a fight with somebody and they rammed him right in a bad spot in the leg and they snapped his leg. Uh, we have a good idea which billy goat it was. It was our gray billy Gandalf. We haven't let him breed any nannies yet. So he was probably feeling himself pretty good and rammed him. Uh, I'm probably. gonna go ahead and grab him and then Tyler's gonna show you where the break is. And it probably was just where the leg got caught in between those horns and kind of twisted it. It's not a horrible break, but it's definitely something we wanna keep it on. You could leave him in the pasture and let it heal on its own. But if we can keep him from potentially limping, that's what we want to do. Okay. So here we are. Next, uh... we take him, let's take him out in the sun. Okay. All right. So you can kind of see the swelling right here. So that's where my best guess is that it's broken. And obviously he reacts more. Um, it's not a compound. It's just you can feel it moving in there. Um, so the biggest thing is we want to keep this stabilized so that way it has a chance to heal straighter and him not mess it up worse. And being with the bigger billy goats, they would probably just keep hitting it and wounding him more. So the biggest thing is getting him separated, keeping him quiet, and uh, just allowing him to rest. I think good. Okay, so all we're going to do is try and get him to extend that leg a little Ow, that kind of hurts. His leg's a little big for this, honestly. Honestly, a little long. Want me to cut some off? Oh, wow, he really needs like a three incher. I don't think I have anything. But that's pretty much how it'll go, and I'm just going to tape that on. Mark the thumb where his hoof ends, right above the hoof. We're going to cut this to size a little bit and be right back. Okay. So I guess that's why the experts say measure twice, cut once, but... If you cut it long, then it's no big deal. But that swelling also is probably keeping us from getting that leg in there. I mean, he's a thick leg boy, but as long as we can get him to keep it straighter, that's all that matters. And not too tight, that's going to cut off any circulation but tight enough to stay on. If it falls off, we'll kind of play with it. Maybe put some vet wrap on the leg for traction, but his foot right there should keep it on itself since it's above that uh, vet lock joint. And we'll keep an eye. If it swells up or he seems worse, we'll go get some bigger PVC and call it good for him. But this just helped keep him straight. So there we go. So just to help keep that straight, if he does decide to start to want to toe touch, which he is already kind of toe touching a little bit, so that means that it's hurting, but it's not, but it's not dangling. So we're just because the brake should be right about here from how it feels. And Can so you grab the camera and show. So there we are. We have it. The brake's kind of in here above his knee joint in the middle. So we'll give this freedom for now. Now, if it gets to the point where he, we want to go further, we can get a longer piece of PVC and make it go up his shoulder to give it more stability. Um, but for now, we're gonna try start with this and kind of see how he goes and just keep an eye. But there we go. See, you can toe touch with it, but it's making it stay straight. See, he's using it like a little cast now. That's exactly what we wanted to see. He doesn't want. <laughs> he said, "Please take this off my leg." Does happen to get bullied at all. 
which he shouldn't by any of these smaller kids. Uh, that'll help protect him as well. Let me get him turned towards you. We could take him over there. That's fine. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. See, that was a good toe touch. It's keeping that leg straight, and even though he's dangling it, he can still move. He can make some quick movements there. Exactly what we want to see. That way that brake isn't just dangling or anything like that. It has a little bit of stability to hold on to. And uh, his genetic is top and bottom. Uh, a very tight genetic which is why we're spending so much time trying to save that leg very very important billy goat to us uh, if he wasn't who he was he would uh, just be left in the pasture to heal with all the other billy goats so but you can see it's not uh, affecting him at all uh, and he looks pretty good he's been on pasture i think his leg's been broken probably for about a week now uh three four days and he's been hobbling around with the crew he's not skinny he's not malnourished you know three or four days without any if it hurt that bad he'd go three or four days without eating and he wouldn't look the way he looks right now so um we'll leave he will heal we've had a nanny like this heal we had a video on it actually one of our earlier videos but 